Okay, guys. Don't mind the headset. Sorry. Because there's a lot of bullshit going around. Um, and, yeah, I'm trying not to have it be fucking loud, and I'm trying to have y'all hear me, so... Hopefully you can. If not, shit. But I got my PlayStation headset on, so let's fucking get it. Anyways, so in this one, um, I'm going to be talking about a bunch of different shit. But starting off, I'm going to be talking about the V8 Bronc. Because I should have talked about this to you guys a long fucking time ago. But I've been super fucking busy with another beautiful baby. And, uh tattooing and everything so the v8 bronc ding, ding. there's another video online uh talking about this which is, he did a good job reviewing it like um i don't know who what his name is and stuff but i think i've seen the preview and shit he did a good job uh letting you guys know what was up and i think he liked it it seemed like he liked it but he did forget to tell you guys one specific thing that i think that you guys should know is this machine Rachia, the V8, is this machine, Rachia, the same fucking one, same machine, in my opinion, same motor, the only thing is, the V8, you know, it's a little bit, I mean, it's just about the same, but, um, it's a little bit wider, the new one's a little bit wider, and it's a tad bit heavier. Other than that, same machine, same motor, exact same motor, uh, the 4.5 watt uh, Swiss motor. Uh, it says on the website 8.5 max volts and 8 max volts, but they're the same motor. So you can do 8.5 and you'll be fine. It won't hurt it. Um, okay, now you guys already have seen my review on this one, so it's kind of hard for me to review this one. Um like because the, they're the same machine uh, now I'll just reiterate what I said about this one uh, they're both so I'll just say both uh, they're both uh, immaculate at black and gray whether it be fine line or uh, realism or whatever even dial work you know they're great at that um, super smooth blends super smooth uh, they're they're they do well at uh, small grouping lines and also, they do well at um, coloring. Uh, no, no matter the, the the probably realism would be better, but I don't do realism uh, color, so I wouldn't know about that. But I do know that they blend great, so they're great at blending um, and very smooth, smooth blends. Uh, feels great in the hand. I love longer uh, pens when when I do black and gray because. I can blend very well and it's like a paintbrush I can go back I use my uh, short pen quite a bit still um, but mainly for lining I use this for lining a lot of people ask me how I line with it and then they realize they're not using the right voltage or they have to slow down their hand speed um, a tad bit but it's great I love to line with that with smaller grouping liners it's perfect for lining uh, the short pen and these these are good with smaller groupers too but like big bulky lines I use my uh, custom uh, coil machines that I that I remade uh, myself I'll get into that in a few minutes but um so yeah I, I, it's hard for me to really get into this because I've already done it guys like um, if you have any questions about it go ahead and hit me up but same exact fucking machines in my opinion like they do the same I did a put them both side by side and they both stood to each other like perfect great um, now, what was, I was going to say, I had something on my mind that I was going to tell you guys, um, shit, I don't even fucking know, anyways, that's that, okay, getting into other shit, so that's them, guys, oh, yeah, yeah, I know what that is, the price, the price on this one is like 218 still right now, and this is 198, I'm not trying to, like, be a dick to the company or anything like that but if you guys are looking for this machine go for the v5 it's the same machine it's 10 like ten dollars cheaper um now not the v6 because the v6 has the japanese motor and it's only like 30 dollars difference it's don't go after that it's not worth it um these are great these will, the difference with the japanese motor a lot of people say oh it works just as good or it's good but the longevity of it 
is a big difference because uh, the Japanese motor you can, or the Japanese one, the V6, you can't line for shit with that one, like because the motor's not strong enough. These ones you can, but they're not. They're more made for uh, smooth blends and and, and coloring, um, and and black and gray. But that's those. Okay, that's the V8, um, similar to the V5. Blah. Okay. So getting into the coil machines. Those of you who have been asking like how to put one together and how to um, uh, tune one and everything, uh, I don't. I'm not going to get into it in this one, but I will talk a, few, a little bit about uh, my builds. Now I don't build them from scratch because I don't build the frames, I don't wind the coils, and I don't um, make the springs. I can cut my own springs. But I don't. I just buy them. I'm always thinking about um, getting some uh, um, some shit to be able to make my own springs. But I I don't. I haven't yet. Um, but I did. Um, it's hard to see that um, right there. Uh, I did uh, adjust the or I not adjust. Sorry guys. I. Uh, cut uh, the armature bar like I gouged it to make it a little bit lighter and uh, cooler I like the way it looks I like the ch -ch -ch look uh, the ladder look whatever the fuck you want to call it. that's just my thing but anyways here's this I will I'll let you guys um see it this is at five and a half volts it's probably hard to hear because I got the microphone so I probably try to keep it like I don't want to keep it too close I don't want to blow you guys ears out I love the way that fucker sounds man Okay, now that's fully loaded, so, and that means, for those of you who don't know what that means, that's with the needle and tube and everything. Um, that's 5.8 5 volts, and it runs at 120 uh, cycles per second, and 50% duty exactly. Now I got another liner. That liner is like medium liner, so it's like um, 7, 9, 11, uh, probably up to like 14 round shader is what I would probably max push it at it could probably do more but I haven't uh, tested it further but it's a, it's a really it's strong um, this one's more of a quicker liner uh, compared to that one it's not the quickest because some of them out there run fully loaded at like 150 or 160 that's 5.8 as well and that fully loaded uh, 130 um, and it was over 51% duty. Now, off, or not loaded, these things run around 150-something with 50 to 52% duty, both of them, which is weird because now that one loaded is 130 and that one loaded is 120. But it's fine. I absolutely, this one, my the one I just put together a couple days ago, I also put this one together. I put them both together. I love putting making my own liners or coil machines all together. But that one... It's so smooth, guys. Like when I I lined actually with that video last night. I lined with both of them, but I started out the whole outline of the leaves and uh, shit and flowers was with the this coil machine right here, beauty. Um, okay. Uh, now getting to tattoo machine that I won. I won a tattoo machine from Florin. Uh, his uh YouTube video, and it's the Stigma Prodigy beautiful tattoo machine beautiful very light and it also has a twist up here where uh the give system it's got you can have it tough to where there's no give at all when you line or really you can have it really givey to where it's got a lot of give um and it's super super awesome oh yeah Okay, so this one's that was at five and five point eight as well. I obviously haven't changed it, but this one um, has the version two, um, four point five watt motor, and see, it's, I don't know if you guys can see that. Sorry, it says four point five V two. That's obviously second version because they had the first one that um, looked different than this. The motor bolt that is, and it's got a Swiss Maxon motor. 
that's the best motor out there for tattoo machines in, in my opinion there's also fall haber which they have good motors they're like competitive with swiss motors but i think the max on motor is top notch guys like top top notch um but yeah i almost fucked this machine up guys i almost fucked it up and i was in tears like seriously in tears when it happened um it still runs great. I've used it many a time afterwards, and I was like, oh my gosh, thank you, Lord. But when it happened, I used, I ran it. I was testing the longevity of it and seeing if it would get hot over a few hours. And I had a, a cartridge in it, not a, not a standard tattoo, or standard tattoo needle, a cartridge needle, a liner, and... It was just a cheap one. It wasn't a, a nice one. I, I buy cheap ones for when I do videos so that I can show you guys and not waste my good ones. Uh, now, doing that one when I tested it, because I also test a lot of my machines when I get them longevity-wise. Uh, the plunger, I don't know what happened, but the plunger either the plunger jammed or the cartridge itself uh, locked up. And I think it was the cartridge inside of the mechanism inside of it, uh, like jammed and the needle kind of went to the side and couldn't go no more. So that jammed. So the plunger can't push, but the cam, so the cam can't turn, but the motor still getting all that voltage to it. It was on eight volts and this, you can run more cause it's, it's a strong motor, but, uh, Florin said he run, ran his, this at, eight to nine volts shading when shading so i put it at eight to just you know mid-range and let us see it do it well all that voltage is just heating up the fucking motor so it's getting hot hot so i go i come back uh from uh like to, to check it out after it tested for like five hours i don't know when it jammed up but i had it running for a while that's what i do with all my machines and i come in i grab it, it was like, Oh my fuck. And it was hot. Like hot. Like burn hand hot. Like hot. And I was. I'm glad I didn't throw it. Because I was so pissed and like upset. And I was like no. Like fuck. Well I let it cool down for a couple days. I was like so beaten up about it. I couldn't stop like beating myself up about it. And then I had a you know a few tattoos. I let it, left it alone. I thought it was. I thought it was gone. I was thinking about getting a new motor. But I just got it. I literally just got it. And I was like, I can't even fucking use it. And I just got it. But that tells you how good this fucking motor is. It literally, like, overheated because of me. And it still works beautifully. Like, I also used it after after this many a times for a few hours during tattoos. And doesn't overheat doesn't nothing bad happen still runs like a beautiful fucking machine that tells you how how good these mo uh, motors are guys and how well these machines run um but yeah oh man guys i was like fuck beat myself up so bad sorry i'm all over the place i also um use my uh short pen a lot too so when i do my liners uh, I also use this for a liner too with my uh smaller groupings like one three five sometimes seven Unless I already said that. Sorry, guys. I got everything in my head, and I keep talking about shit. And I've done this video a few times because I keep fucking up because of the sound. So, I might have said that already. Excuse me. But, anyways. So, if you guys have any questions about anything, uh, comment or go check out my Instagram. You can hit me up on that. Um... And if those those of you who are um, around me and want to get some work done, hit me up. I'm you know, I'm not the best, but I do love what I do, and I think my work you know, it's good. It's just not it's not great yet, but it will be. Um, and if anybody has any questions about, oh yeah, technique. Uh, I might do a video on technique, maybe. Oh, where the hell's that? There it is. Um, this is that picture I did um, last night on this. This is just fake skin. I was bored. But I'm working on a, a dope ass fucking Darkwing Duck that's it's gonna say let's get dangerous. Darkwing Duck. I also got some ink that I that I purchased. Um, it's like seven colors. It's got purple, blue, green, yellow, purple, blue, green, yellow, red, 
white and black in it, and it's from um, Haw Ink. I don't know, H A W I N K. Um, they're expensive as Millennium Moms, and I like using Millennium Moms. Um, a few years ago they were shit, but I like I like how it works, and it works great. Like the colors come out great, and they heal great. Um, but anyways, so I'm using I'm gonna test this one out. I just got them, so I'm gonna test them out and see on uh, not tomorrow because tomorrow's black and gray. Uh, tattoo machine. I have a tattoo tomorrow. Tattoo machine. Tattoo uh, of Cthulhu. And it's going to be dope. I'll post it on my Instagram if you guys want to check it out. I might try to set up some so I can record it. But I hate to lie to you guys and say, oh, I'm going to do this and have it not happen like I've been doing. It's just so hard to set it up without it getting in my way. I don't have a GoPro. So um, it's just difficult to do that. Um, but I'll, I could try to do that for you. Because I don't like editing shit. I just fucking record from either my iPhone or my iPad or and just jam out and put it on there no fucking cuts no nothing guys I mean I know a lot of you guys would prefer me to do that but I don't know how to do none of that video shit that ain't me plus I'm super I don't have a lot of time to do shit so I just upload that shit um what else what else was I going to say? So I'll test that, that ink out some sooner or later and be able to fucking let you guys know what that is. What you guys think about that. Um, I might be getting tattoo machines from different companies. Um, I might be sponsored by other companies, maybe, depending on how. I, it's up to me. They hit me up and I said, hmm. But they want me to buy them first and then review them and then they'll reimburse me and I don't know that's I mean a lot of people do it like that but that means I have to be like oh this is the best machine in the fucking world and I don't like doing that I want you guys to know cause I'd hate you guys to buy a fucking machine and then be like what the fuck Adam what the fuck bro like we come to you for real shit and you're bullshitting like everybody else now now all these other machines like the hummingbirds they're legit like I t obviously because I did this review and told you it was the exact same machine as the other one and nobody else would fucking tell you that which I don't understand why not because they are they are the same machine just different frame or body but yeah guys I know I'm ratting and going on and on and on and on and on and on, and on, and on. but it's been a while I figured I'd hit you guys up with quite a bit of shit I've been thinking about and trying to I know I got it all, like, a bunch of little shit in one video instead of getting a bunch of shit in one video, but, yeah. Don't know what else to tell you or to bring up. If so, I'll make another video, but I'll try to do that tomorrow. I'll try to make a video of it. If my client's cool with it, I'll try to put that shit all up in front of me and try to get it done. But, other than that, yeah, you guys have a good one. Hopefully this ain't fucking up and you can hear me just fine. And, yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. See you later.